Hello and welcome back to Bland Man Studios. Today I have some very exciting news which I think you're going to be interested in if you're a Linux enthusiast that likes to play video games that are only available on Windows. So today I spun up a new VM because as per usual I was having Windows dependency issues and I wanted to install this NVIDIA Flex project to a uh, clean build of Unreal Engine so I could check out there. Uh, I guess physics simulations. They've got these cool little Taurus donuts, soft bodies, little little octopuses that uh, you can kick around, and uh, fluid simulation that looks really good. And the thing that blew me away was when I went to go install the graphics card driver, which is 465.89, to this VM, it just worked. And that is great news because usually you have to hack around in your VM's XML file to hide the fact that it's the VM, hide the fact that it's a VM so that the NVIDIA driver won't shut down. But usually you have to go in and set these settings to make it hidden. But uh, I went to the VFIO subreddit and found out that this is real. It worked without a problem because NVIDIA now is starting to beta support the thing I've been using it for, which is playing video games and developing video games inside a VM. So this announcement was, I guess, a couple days ago, March 30th, 2021, and sure enough, Windows Virtual Machine Beta Support for GeForce. So basically, it's, it's that use case. They want to support Linux users to be able to play Windows-only games in VMs, as well as uh, developers that want to develop cross-platform on uh, the same machine. And so uh, they also put up this knowledge base article about it. And I think it's just so exciting that it worked. So it is already integrated into whatever the latest software is. I, I just showed it. Um, yeah, and so uh, I think this is gonna be a big win for uh, gamers and being able to use the hardware that we buy the way we want to use it. I think it's really cool. Um, and so hopefully this continues to build momentum behind gaming on Linux or using Linux full time and being able to game if you'd like to. So thanks for watching. I've been Steve, you've been you, and this has been Bland Man Studios, where I make creative stuff and talk about the technology behind it. If you want to stay up to date on the latest stuff I create, hit subscribe or follow Bland Man Studios on Instagram or Twitter. And honestly, just have a great day.